What's up? Hey, what's up? So I scoured the internet looking for the world's worst tattoos, and here's what I found. First, there's this one. Insert coin in slot. That's kind of clever, I guess, but you better not pull your pants down in front of me or I'm gonna shove a quarter up your ass. Here's another slutty tramp stamp. She took the words right out of my mouth. That girl is really committed to being a slut. She just stamped herself as a slut for the rest of her life. Why would anybody do that to themselves and... Also, where could I meet this girl? This tramp stamp's just ridiculous. Semen demon. <laughs> why, 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 why is the only question that needs to be asked here? When I hear semen demon, I just picture a demon made out of semen. That actually sounds like it'd be a pretty good video game. But this is by far the best tramp stamp I've seen. What if you had to stare at this tattoo while having sex? That would just break my concentration. I'd feel like the dog was laughing at me the whole time and then I'd probably end up punching her in the back. This guy here's too cool for school. As impressive as that artwork is, uh, you misspelled school. Maybe you should have stayed in school so you could have learned how to fucking spell. He can just play it off like it's a joke, you know? Like, oh no, no, I, I meant to do that because it was funny. I know how to spell school. S-K... W-O-O-L. Here's some more spelling mistake tattoos. Keep smiling, because your tattoo sucks. And beautiful is a hard word to spell. It's a shame the tattoos don't have spell check. Here's a monkey saying aloha to you with his butthole. This tattoo's actually pretty well done. It's just a little weird. I just want to know why this monkey's trying to teabag himself. And this next one is for you, ladies. Wouldn't you just love to have this guy in between your thighs? Not only does he have pussy eater on his top lip, he's got fuck you on his forehead. This is one classy guy. He's also got teardrops on the side of his eyes, which means he's probably killed people. So, I just want to say, these are the best tattoos I have ever seen. Please don't kill me. But seriously, I'm wondering why anyone would tattoo Pussy Eater on their top lip. And this guy answered my question. Is it true, ladies? Do you love it when a man labels himself as a Pussy Eater? Like, if I walked up to a girl in a bar and I was like, Hi, my name's Fluffy. I'm an online personality. I'm a Pussy Eater. And a Scorpio. Would that work? No, I'm pretty sure I'd just get slapped in the face. And it only goes for guys, though. If a girl went up to a guy and was like, I would love to eat that dick, I'm pretty sure that guy would be like, Ch check, please. Here's a shark penis that's out for blood. That's what I call a hammerhead shark. And it's out for blood. If there's one thing I know, it's that my dick is not out for blood. That means that a girl's on her period and... I'm just gonna stay away. And this guy here is just living the cock life. I don't even think this is a tattoo. I'm pretty sure this guy just passed out and one of his buddies drew a, a cock collage on his back. But that is actually a very impressive piece of dick artwork. Here's a guy that has 82 Julia Roberts tattoos. I talked about him a while back. I think one Julia Roberts tattoo would be stupid, but 82? What's the point? You might as well just get your own face tattooed on your body 82 times. That makes more sense. Oh, and Julia Roberts, if you're watching right now, Look into the eyes of the man that's gonna murder you. Here's someone else that got a celebrity tattooed on him. David Hasselhoff spooning a dog. Well, I don't know, is that a dog or his penis? Why would you get a tattoo of a naked David Hasselhoff on the side of you? That's a weird thing to want to have on your body for the rest of your life. I just can't get my eyes off the creepy dog that's caressing Hasselhoff's body hair.